What's up, everybody? It's the Roar, and here I am today in National Harbor. Kind of a detour of the video I wanted to get done today, but for good reason, because I wanted to show you a monument. No, actually, scratch that. A statue. A statue that has been missing in D.C. Back in 2007 and 2008, the statue was missing. Nobody knew where it went. It was purchased in February 2017. And in February 2008, at the opening of National Harbor, it has reappeared. Reappeared. Let's take a look. If you notice this, this is the awakening. That once was at Haynes Point. That is really cool. I think I'm gonna try to get down there. I did not know there's there's gates here to blocking it off, but there is a little path. But right here, also, I found out. Take a look at these. I believe these are the original seats from RFK Stadium. They look like it, and they got numbers on them. Let me see if I can go down and somehow confirm whether or not it is. I'm gonna see, there's no sign that says closed or anything, so I'm gonna go down here. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, oh absolutely, these are the seats. Pretty sure, there's no sign saying it, but I recognize it. Let me see if I can, right there. I've worked at RFK for security for some big events, and I do recognize these seats for sure. I'm almost certain they're from RFK. Okay. Didn't realize this area was to be closed, so I'm not gonna go out there. This does say on my camera. So I'm just gonna take a look. There are no signs designating it as closed, just little barriers that you're able to pass. Take a look, this is the awakening by Joseph Seward, I believe, which created the same monument in Chesterfield, Missouri. It's really cool. This used to be at Haynes Point in Washington, D.C., just sitting in the field. So just to talk a little bit about this statue, the developer bought this statue from Haynes Point, D.C., in February 2007, no one knew about it. Nobody knew of the sale. Bought it for like $700,000 from what I read. Went missing from Haynes Point. They dug it up. One, two, three, four, five. Five massive pieces had to be dug up. Look at this. Had to be dug up in the middle of the night to brought... Uh, and just stored away. No one knew where it was. It was on the news. Where did the statue go? Everything else. Until one day, February 2008, it reopened here, the National Harbor. When, um, when National Harbor was built and opened, this reappeared right here in the, in, uh, at the beach. It's really cool. Also, when it floods, I'll post pictures on it, but when it floods, Sometimes the statue can be seen submerged in the water. Look how close. Uh, just look right. how close to the water that is. So I just walked up these steps right over here from the Awakening statue. And I see the journey of the Chesapeake, a mural that was painted on concrete. Oh, actually, it's not. Those are stones. That's cool. 
but basically the discovery and the journey around Chesapeake Bay. Which is really cool. One of the things I'm thinking about doing. I'll tell you in a minute. But I wanted to show you this real quick. A statue, very fitting for DC of the military. It's a Coast Guard. There's Air Force right here. The Army. The Marines. And the Navy. So lifelike too. Pretty amazing. So I've been thinking about one of my thought process, process about future videos. Speaking of the Chesapeake Bay, I would love to traverse around it, hit up all towns and cities bordering it. I think that'd be a cool video. It'll be a journey, but I'm thinking maybe later this year or hopefully next year, I've been thinking about it. There's a lot of things that I have to, well, that's for another conversation. One of the things today about yesterday when I came across some bad news was uh, I was suspended from my work of employment just for a little bit. Um, it's only three days, so it's not, that's good news. Not as long uh, as I thought. So a little bummed about it. It was, did not know I was in danger of getting a mark on my permanent record. But one week was a very stressful week for me. And I did not, I had to deal with a lot of like phone calls and things and stuff like that. And I forgot the time and I forgot to clock in and things like that. So I was like four minutes late into clocking in uh, like three days in a row or something like that. So that was, I did not know that I was that late. I thought it was like, you know, my mind was preoccupied and I thought, oh, you know what? I just got to clock in. It was like two or three minutes early. If I clock in three minutes early or if I clock in within three minutes, I get the full shift. Or, you know, it rotates back. I didn't know that I hit that extra minute to mark four minutes on it. So, anyways, I'm just been bummed about that. That's one of the bad news that I got. So, I'm going to take the time to just relax. I'm not going to stress myself. I'm going to relax, you know, because it's been... The, my, my job is very stressful at times, especially around the holidays. Um, so, hopefully, we get through the holidays... And I'll even relax even more. I'm going to do some trips. I'm going to take some trips and everything else. And I'm still going to do daily vlogging. I am not. Because I'm using this as a catapult into more, something I want to uh, focus on later in life. Um, and, 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 I'm, and I'm hoping it works. I, I really do. So, anyways, let's take a look at some of the other statues. By the way, if you haven't guessed already, I'm in National Harbor. <laughs> I'm just all over the place today. My mind is not here. So, anyways, let's take a look right across the street. There's some more statues over here. Let's see who they are. I'm loving these little columns or stanchions here. Look at this. This says the American way up here is proud, diverse, resolute, and hopeful. Indeed it is. I love that. It says, welcome to the American way. Then up here is some of our founding fathers. There's George Washington. You know him. Abraham Lincoln. And then this is Frederick Douglass. And I had to look this up before I said it, but uh, he is definitely the first. He was a presidential candidate. The first African-American presidential candidate and also a very important African-American civil rights uh, 
leader, I guess I would say. And also one of my favorite people to learn about in history. He was also a vice presidential nominee under Wood Woodruff, who ran for president around that time as well. And I think Frederick Douglass also was... He was also a major party, I thought. He was pushing for a presidential nomination for a major party. Wow, got the sidetracked. There's a Lamborghini behind me. And there is Henry Ford. So these are all statues of people that have made America. I'm loving this. I'm also walking past a bunch of plaques that I have not read yet. One said Model T Ford, but there's no Model T Ford statue. I'm looking. So it caught me off guard. I'll go back and show that. Winston Churchill. I guess he would be a part of American history. He pretty much got America involved in World War II. I thought I said he was from Brooklyn, but it's not. The, the statue's from Brooklyn. And then Rosie the Riveter, another American icon. You'll see if there's any more up the way. I see a couple. This right here. The famous iconic picture of the Navy and the Navy or men in the Navy in all war I should say coming back and the famous kiss I heard a story about that it was actually that was the first time they met each other and the last time they've ever talked all right let's go further up <laughs> There's a little playground with uh, some animal statues. I can see that being part of American history on our breakfast table every morning. The mushrooms. A bulldog. A bear. A frog and a ladybug. That's actually a playground. That's not statues. <laughs> Uh oh. We're gonna go further up here. Oh, I know who this is without even looking. Louis Armstrong. <laughs> One of my favorite uh, trumpeters. Jazz magicians, actually but a master of the trumpet. All right, let's go over here. So as I walked across the street, there's Marilyn Monroe and her famous standing on the, the city grate scene where her dress blows up. They even have their rendition of the dress blowing up. <laughs> I just saw that movie recently and it is very, very, very iconic scene. Very interesting. I don't think there's any more statues up here. But we'll walk up here just in case and check it out. So I need to correct, made a mistake earlier. This is by Seward Johnson. I think I said the name was Joseph Seward. So Seward Johnson is the one that's the sculptor. But the one at the awakening is Seward Johnson Jr. So, I pretty wonder if it's the father and son. I did not know there were two. I know the name, but I did not know there were two sculptors in the family. I'll have to look that up. I just had to laugh at this. It's not a Ford Model T. There is no Model T here, but it's a mighty fine Corvette. That's pretty awesome. But there is no Model T here. Nowhere. Interesting. That's going to do it for my video today. I hope you enjoyed it. 
taking a look at some of the statues here in National Harbor. I got more videos coming every day this week. Join me. See you tomorrow. Adios.